What's going on everybody? It's Matt, also known as Thrifter Sitter. Today I'm actually going to go to the thrift store and I'm going to see what I can find to flip for a profit. Let's see, I think I've got one, two, three, five or six orders I'm dropping off today. I did have another Depop order. I didn't have a Depop order for a while. I finally had one come in the other day and then or one the day before and then one the next day i sold let's see yesterday i sold a wrangler pearl snap button-up shirt i think i sold it for like 15 or 17 dollars they're asking me i had it for like 18 dollars i think or 17 and they asked me if they could get it for 15 and it was kind of not in great condition so i was like yeah sure you could have it and then i also sold a revere wear two quart saucepan with a lid i sold two pairs of miss me jeans i literally just listed the day before i think i have like four or five dollars in each of them i sold one for 30 and one for 33. i also sold a brand new pair of slogger slip-on shoes they look kind of like crocs i got a brand new at a garage sale for like two bucks i sold them for 20 and they're going to guam and there's something else. I can't remember what it was. But anyways, let's get to the thrift store. I'm hoping I find some good stuff today. All right, so this is my local St. Vincent. I've been doing pretty good here lately. I used to go to Goodwill a lot, and it's been kind of hit or miss lately. And this one's been doing pretty good for me. So one thing I always check out is sealed pre-recorded cassette tape. Some can be better than others. That one only sells about $5. It's a dollar, not very good. Sometimes this one can be good, but you really need like a whole lot of them to really make any money on them. One thing I like to sell a lot of is hats because they're just kind of point and shoot and list them. Super easy to store and ship. Not nothing really any good here though, it looks like. All right, so this is one of the first things I picked up. It's a 1988 walk by pumpkin chime for $2. Looked like they had pretty good sold history. So I went ahead and grabbed that. This was an old calculator sealed in the package for $5. A lot listed, a lot for like 15 free shipping and none sold. So I'm not getting that today. I found these three Tupperware canisters for $3. The only problem though is that all three of these were all discolored. As you can see, it kind of fades from the bottom up to the top. And the middle one was not bad, but just had a different color lid. And I'm just going to pass on these. Not very good. Found a jadeite little dish, but this is made by... Pioneer Woman, and it's only $1.50, but there was quite a few listed and none sold, so I had to pass on that one. Did find this really cool Taz mug, though, but same thing here, a lot listed and none sold, so definitely want to pass on that. Cool mug, though. Definitely keep an eye out for stuff like that. Sometimes it will do good. I really like this mug. It was a Pisces mug. Unfortunately, it had a little chip on it. Something like that I would get from my booth. That would actually do pretty good in there. But I'm always checking out mugs. Sometimes I get lucky. Today, not so good. Normally, I pick up these little Corel plates at garage sales for really cheap. But here at a dollar a piece, just not enough money to be made. So unfortunately, I had to pass. I really wanted these to be in better condition. A little bit faded, but these mid-century modern glasses can sometimes bring some pretty good money. Unfortunately, these were just not it today. So I had to pass on these as well. Nicole found this Revere Wear two quart saucepan with a lid for two bucks. It's about $15 or so. She also found this Prestige pot with a lid. Not Royal Prestige, so probably not very good. It had a little dent on the top as well. I couldn't really find any soul comps on it either, so I just decided not to pick it up. I did get this Tupperware strainer for a dollar though. These always do really good in my little booth in town. Not really gonna bring me a lot of money, maybe five to seven dollars. Nicole actually pointed out these candlestick holders. They look like uranium glass. I tested it with my blacklight flashlight. They didn't glow, so they're not uranium glass. Still really nice candlestick holders. I almost picked them up, but I just don't think there's enough money to be made. Found a boot with a nail in it. Okay. Seems like at this location, they get a lot of shoes, but normally I don't find much of anything good. I'm always looking for like dance goes and some other stuff similar to that. But today there just wasn't really a whole lot going on. There was a pair right there. looks like Doc Martens. I kind of wish I would have looked at that closer. Pretty much been the same electronics over here for a couple weeks. Nothing really good that I've seen. There was this really interesting golf calculator. I thought that looked cool, but the box just kind of gave me a cheap vibe and I don't think it's any good. If it was good though, let me know. Little camera here, nothing really that great. There was a CPAP machine down here, but from my understanding, I don't think you can sell these on eBay. If I'm wrong, please let me know. And plus there wasn't any sold comps. 
found this Tylus hat. It was $1.50, but it just looked like it was really dirty. You need a lot of cleaning. I was really tempted to pick it up because I've done pretty well selling these, but I don't know. Just something was telling me not to pick it up, so I left it behind. Looks like Nicole brought me some Christmas decorations. She does like to shop for herself a lot when we come, so we're going to pick those up as well. Check out this nice little find. Harley Davidson men's button-down shirt. It's a size large. I prefer like an extra large and up, but not bad still. $3.75, and it seems like they sell for a pretty good bit of money. Found this buckle black button-down shirt. These seem like the comps are pretty good on these, but this one's just a little bit faded, and the condition was not as great. Not a bad price, but definitely keep an eye out for these. Unfortunately, I'm just not going to... Not going to work for me today. Found a Brooks Brothers shirt. The color not as great. It also has some spots on the front. So I'm not going to pick that one up. I did find a Bugatti long sleeve button down shirt. I think this is a size large as well. Kind of a little bit of a slow selling item. But with it being bright colors like this. And having the contrast cuff. That would definitely help. So I'm going to pick this one up. Nicole had a nice little score. Check that out. A pair of Miss Me jeans, a $9.75. Actually, two pairs of Miss Me jeans. All these were the same price, and she also got a pair of Rock Revival as well. Nice job, Nicole. Here's a brand I've been picking up more lately, BKE. I picked up a pair of women's jeans recently and sold them for $25. Never sold a men's button-down shirt before, but the comps look pretty good. It was $3.75. I want to say I should get like 17 to 20, maybe a little bit more. Nicole brought me the tireless hat back. She says she can clean it. She does do a pretty good job cleaning hats. So we're going to go ahead and pick it up and see what we can do with it. All right, guys, we decided to come to Goodwill to see if we can find some more stuff. So let's get to it. Lately, I've been messing around with these little Renaissance Festival mugs. I'm not sure how well they really sell. I think that they just maybe take a long time to sell. This one was $2. So we're going to try it out. There was another one right here, but I'm not sure. I haven't seen them like this before, and to me, it just looked like it may not be as good, so I'm just going to pass on this one. Found some more Tupperware. This is Tuppercraft. This one, I've actually never seen this piece before. This was $3. Pretty big container. I always pick up the small Tuppercraft ones, but this one, the comps look pretty good, so I went ahead and picked this up. Found this really old First Lady Hair Salon hair dryer. I checked out on worthpoint.com. I couldn't find anything sold on this. I'm crazy enough to buy something like this and try to sell it, but I couldn't find anything on it, and so I just decided not to mess with it. Now, this is a cool find I regret not picking up in a way. It's this Planet Hollywood jersey, I think it is. It says Washington, D.C. They wanted $12 for it. Really cool find, but I just could not find anything sold. There was a few listed on eBay. I didn't want to take a chance, so I left it behind, but really cool find. There was quite a few Guitar Hero controllers as well. This one was off-brand, I believe. Most were off-brand ones. This one, the condition was pretty bad, especially the button was so worn down right there. They also wanted $8 each for these, and most were just really scratched up. I didn't really see a lot of potential to make money on these, so I didn't get them. I don't know what this thing is. I probably should have looked it up. If anybody knows what it is, or if I potentially should have looked into that, let me know. This was actually a really nice Singer sewing machine. I really like the color as well. You know, it was $20, and if it worked, I'm sure I could probably have sold this in my booth. For some reason, I just wasn't feeling it. I don't know what it was about it. The case itself on top was really scratched up, really bad condition, and I just felt like if that was in really bad condition, the sewing machine may as well be as well. I ended up leaving it behind. I kind of wish I would have plugged it up and tested it, though, because... Even without the cover, I probably could have made some good money on it. And I was just about to leave, and I saw this whole bag of printer ink for $7 down below. So I decided to go ahead and take a gamble on it and see if there's anything good in there. So it's actually been a couple days since I went out thrifting. I got back home, and I just had got really busy doing stuff. But now I'm just going to go ahead and go over everything that I picked up and what I plan to sell it for. I've had a pretty good bit of orders come in since yesterday. It's... I guess the holidays are really picking up. I think I've had 17 orders total come in. And then out of the booth, I've sold 10 items as well. So 27 items sold within the last couple of days. 
is a lot. My listings have definitely dropped. I was at like 720 listings and now I'm down to like 665 or something like that. So, which I'm fine with that. I'm still listing like I normally do every day. But honestly, I, would, I wouldn't mind my listings going down to like 500, honestly, just because it's so much stuff to store everything. And if I sell it all, I mean, that's great. It's more money for me. And then less inventory that I'm dealing with as well. So I'm okay with it, but I'm still listing like I normally am and just trying to keep up with it. But anyways, let's go ahead and look over everything that we picked up. Not the craziest thrift run, but really not bad. All right, so first this was the Tupperware I got from Goodwill. This was $3. The lid's a little bit worn down, but really not too bad at all. I want to say this was selling for like $15 to $20. I'll put some comps on the screen of everything. The ink I probably could have done without, honestly. I paid $7 for that whole bag. I think I make my money back on this one right here, but out of the other ones, like this one doesn't really sell that well. The other ones are pretty much just junk too. They weren't that great. I'll probably just donate them back. I'm gonna check them out again, but I really don't think there's much there. And maybe I can sell them as a lot of random cartridges. I don't know, but uh, I think this one, I think within everything I'll make like, maybe eight to ten dollars profit so really not a lot of money there i was just kind of taking a gamble but it didn't work out but that's just how it goes sometimes now nicole found two pairs of these miss me jeans and i have done really well with these and these actually have some really cool color in here these will probably sell for a little bit more money usually the more like distressed they are they tend to do better or the more designs and stuff but anyways i got all three of these for 975 each i just sold a couple uh, recently, like I was talking about, for 30 bucks a piece, I got home. I ended up selling a couple more since then. Uh, these have always done really well for me. So, I, I, really, $10 is like the max I like to pay. Garage sales, I definitely like to try to get them a lot cheaper if I can. Uh, but these always do really good for me. I try not to get too small of sizes, but 29s not too bad and you know these being such good condition that they are and they look really nice with the colors will probably get me like 30 35 dollars uh these probably more like 30 dollars but we'll just see i'll start them off at like probably 35 or best offer as long as there's no flaws i didn't see anything there uh, so 975 as well the rock revival though now definitely a lot better find these will probably get me closer to 40 dollars minimum maybe 45 we'll see on uh, you know i probably would take 35 if they just didn't sell for a while but i'll probably get at least 40 dollars out of those i want to say recently i picked up a bunch of these renaissance festival mugs from another thrift store i got a whole bunch for a dollar a piece and i've already sold two i'm already in the profit i don't i wouldn't go crazy buying these or spend a lot of money i think two dollars probably max you want to spend because I think that these really only sell the best whenever the festival's going on. But other than that, I think they can kind of be slow sellers. But the comps are pretty good on some of these. So I wouldn't spend a lot of money on these because they'll probably take a while to sell. But there's definitely some money to be made there. Some can go for a lot of money. So just keep your eyes out on them because you never really know. Uh, let me go ahead and go with this pumpkin. This was definitely a cool find. I didn't realize it was missing a little hook that goes in there and unfortunately it doesn't work properly i may play around with it some more i kind of got it working for a little bit but it's like you turn it on and it just keep making a noise non-stop so i don't know sometimes that happens you know but if you find one of these they sell for around 25 on average maybe during the halloween time you may can get a little bit more i've seen them go like up to 35 i've even seen them go up to like 50 dollars but i think respectively about 25 30 dollars is what you're looking at on these right here this one's from 19 1988 nova dona incorporation if you come across them though keep your eye out i mean maybe test them first they do take batteries so they're kind of hard to test but if you find it cheap enough you know pick it up and try it out so i also got this bke shirt this is a extra large button down 375 I want to say, I can't remember the comps, I'll put it up on the screen, but I want to say it was like $17 to $20 plus shipping, maybe a little bit more. The condition was pretty good. I think that's just, uh, is that a hole right there? Or is that just a spot? I think that's a small spot. Hmm, bummer. I didn't even see that. See, I tried close, so close, and I didn't even see that. But honestly, that is such a small detail on the bottom of the shirt, it's probably not going to 
matter too much but i would say at least 17 dollars. i sell clothes with flaws all the time i usually don't like to pick them up when they're real light color like this because they show dirt really easily but th this one looked pretty good condition and uh someone could tuck this shirt in you know so that may be fine i may be able to spot clean it so we'll see this harley davidson button down was definitely a good find at uh 375 as well this uh saint vincent thrift store their prices are pretty good uh, it was a large i really prefer to pick up extra large and bigger sizes because they sell a lot faster but they will sell eventually and this one the last whole comp was like 34 dollars i want to say but I think respectively, I'm looking at like $25 to $30. Uh, but I'll start it off at like $34 or best offer, and, and we'll see. Definitely a nice shirt. Uh, Bugatti, I wouldn't go crazy buying Bugatti shirts at all because they can kind of like take a long time to sell. So just FYI on that. I think this is a large as well. Um, I sell them every once in a while, especially the really bright colors with like the contrast cuff. They can do pretty good. So... You know, if you pick these up, I would just be really careful to make sure they're not faded, they're bright colors, and a good size, and you get them cheap enough. And, uh, and just try it out. I wouldn't go crazy buying a bunch of these. Maybe try one or two and just try it out and get a feel for it. Because the last one I picked up like this, I want to say it took like six months to sell. But every one that I've picked up, I've sold. But it kind of takes a while for them to go. Not as popular of a selling item as they used to be. But sometimes they can be okay. Now I ended up going back to St. Vincent the very next day. And I found this Galaxy oscillating fan. I picked this one up for $7. I was just talking about how I picked up one of these at a garage sale for... I think I paid like a couple dollars for it. And I put it in my vintage booth. And I just sold it already. It sold in two days for $38. This one's a little bit bigger in size. But every time I find these, I put them in my vintage booth. And if you put a reasonable price on them, they always seem to sell. So keep an eye out for those. I don't really like to ship these, but some people may want to do that. I've also seen these sell for parts. So if you ever buy one, and for example, maybe the motor's not working, take it apart, sell the cage and the fan blade. You can get a little bit of money for that. I'd say probably about $10 each. Not a lot of money there, but at least something. I also got these Ariat boots. Now these are nine and a half size. There's a little bit of wear on them, but overall pretty good. I thought that the soles were worn down, but that's how it's supposed to look. These were $19.75 and the comps looks like I should get anywhere from like, I'm going to say probably about $50 to $60 for these. I almost forgot the Revere Wear little pan. This is a one quart. Yeah, I want to say these would go for like $15 plus shipping or so. I'll put some comps up on the screen as well as the hat as well. I'll put a comp up on the screen. But definitely got it pretty clean. We just put this in the washing machine in like a little net and then just hung it up to dry and it came up pretty good. I try not to put these in the dryer because they can get kind of wrinkly when I do that. Uh, but usually I clean these by hand with like a sponge or some Dawn and water. But sometimes if you just throw them in a net and wash them and then hang them with the dry, they come up pretty good. Well guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed my video. Normally I've been doing TikTok this whole time. If you haven't checked me out on there, I've got over 600 videos. I also have an Instagram and I'm also doing Facebook Reels as well. But I just started putting up these YouTube videos and I'm really trying to put up more of these. If y'all like these, please leave me a comment down below and let me know so I will keep making them. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and you enjoy the content. All right guys, until next time, see you later. Bye.